Hey lovies, happy Memorial Day. And today I have another DIY video, but this time it's larger scale and I cannot wait to show you the end result. So let's go. Okay, here we go. So today's video, we are going to DIY my deck. <laughs> Um, it was really about time when we purchased the house a little bit over a year ago This is the condition that it was in and we did get a quote for a new deck, but it was so astronomical so I knew that it had some potential all it needed was some TLC and We figured let's just try that and bring it back to life I'm truly lucky to have a dad that has so many gadgets and tools. However, you can go to Home Depot and pretty much rent any tool that we're using here. So the first step here is to do the railings and to really smooth it down. The machine that we did rent at Home Depot is this deck sander and it was so inexpensive. I believe for four hours it was around $60 so I will leave everything that I have on my deck below I'll try to link as much as possible but here you can see that just with the sander you're going to get um, rough sanding and smooth sanding and here you see my dad just pounding down the nails to make sure everything is smooth so as I just mentioned, when you're sanding your deck, you're going to want to get a few sheets of rough sandpaper and smooth sandpaper. So here I am just using the same machine, but yet a smoothing sandpaper as a finisher. So that way the wood has no splinters and it's super smooth for primer. And here my dad is just going over it again with the smooth sandpaper. And you really want to take this time to do all the steps really carefully and properly. So that way when you're going to put down um, your paint and your primer, everything is super smooth and it's going to give you that newly look finish. So once you're done sanding the whole entire deck, it's really important to go back with a broom and just sweep off all the dust, go in between all of the planks, make sure there's no dirt and residue and things like that because it does get super, super dusty even with the bag. And here I am just going in again just to make sure just with water and a little bit of cleaner to make sure that all of the wood planks are completely free of dust. After the deck has been thoroughly wiped down, it's a really good time to start trimming all of the edges and getting it ready for a paint and primer. The deck selection was a porch and patio floor paint for the floors and spindles. We have a multi-surface primer, and then we have a low luster and pure white for the banisters. All were purchased at Home Depot and they were such good, good quality. We started painting with the banisters. So here I'm using the primer color and the primer you really want to push down. So it's not like wall paint where it's getting loosely applied and maybe thick. You want to take really thin coats of the primer and really push it into the grain of the wood. You can see my husband here doing that where it's really nice and thin but yet inside every single crevice quick tip here is to take slow and short brush strokes that ensures that all of your primer is getting into all of the grooves instead of having one long continuous stroke and you guys the deck is looking so good already like eons better than when we first started and it's only just the primer
Okay, so here is the fun part and here is where all of our hard work and efforts start to really pay off. So the color here that we chose is peppery and my husband is purely just painting very similar as you will paint a wall. However, when you paint a deck, you really want to go the direction of the wood grain and the planks. You can see my husband doing it here to make sure that you have a really nice and professional look. Okay, you guys, I'm so excited to show you. And after a couple days of painting and getting a few decor items in, we're finally ready to show you the finished product. And I hope you guys love it as much as I love creating it. I lose my breath whenever I see you. You stole my heart. What is it that you do? These beautiful melamine dishes I purchased from Amazon, I'll link it below. This trough, you've seen it before, so it's just really nicely decorated with some yellow and lemons. I bought this pillow at Walmart last year. I have a bunch of Hacienda um, decor that I bought from Walmart at the end of the summer and they were a steal. I think these were like $1.50 each. And then you guys know I love my lemons and I bought these glasses at the Dollar Tree and the feel I really wanted to get like that fresh Hacienda look very colorful and I'm completely crushing on this rug. It's made out of recyclable straws and material and is completely waterproof and weatherproof perfect for the deck. Thank you guys so, so much for stopping by and checking out my video. I hope this gives you some inspiration and some motivation to give your home some TLC with a little bit of DIY.